All righty, so for another edition of Science Sunday here in our capital city at the Connecticut Science Center, joined by Jace. Good morning. Good morning, Mark. How are you doing? Doing well. Uh, I see some fish and some fishing poles. Yeah, so I figured we could talk about how gears work today. Okay. And what better way to talk about gears than with fishing? Sure. So we have two fishing rods here, and they may look very similar, but they're actually a little bit different. All right. Because our gears are in different spots in each fishing pole. Gotcha. So, when a gear works, you have your driving gear, so the one we're spinning. So for me, this would be this little one right here. When I pass yours over here, your driving gear is gonna be the big gear here. Okay. And then the one that's getting moved from the one we're spinning is the driven gear. So you have a smaller driven gear, and I'll have the big driven gear. Okay. And what this does is it changes up speed versus this thing called torque or power. So on your fishing rod, we are spinning the smaller gear. We're having a lot more rotations. So we're gonna get more speed out of it. Whereas my fishing rod, it's gonna be spinning a lot longer distance. The longer the length, we increase that torque, that power. Basically what that means for our fish is, I can catch bigger fish a little bit easier. You can catch more fish faster. But yeah, we just wanna, you wanna go ahead and try and catch a fish real quick with okay. your fishing rod. They work just kinda like a traditional fishing rod where we just spin our little handle and okay, it goes up go. and down. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, so I need to catch a fish. Oh, I caught one. Awesome, and I'm still trying to get my first fish and then <laughs> And reel them on in. Come on. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. A little assist. There we go. All right. All right. Bump so. Off. There we go. We can like start the reel on our <laughs> fish in. Oops. They might notice yours is going a lot faster than mine again because you right. have. Yeah, you're you're already at the top. I'm done. So you have a much smaller gear that's getting driven. You have a much higher RPM, but I can kind of get this big fish. Again, it's going slow. We are getting a nice big Slow fish. Slow and steady. But Almost. you're getting the bigger fish. Exactly. I'll have a very nice profile picture later on Facebook of my big <laughs> fish. Uh, real world application of this though, interestingly enough, it's kind of how our cars work. Absolutely. So this is a manual transmission. So for manual, when we have to swap our gears. So right now, if we're not in a gear, we're in neutral. And I can spin it, but our fan is not really moving. We're right. not really generating any speed or power. We shift into first gear start to spin and we get our fan to start the spin. Mm -hmm. Swap into second gear, spins a little bit faster, we're starting to generate a little more speed. Third gear wants to go, we'll skip right to fourth because third's getting a little sticky. We can keep swapping our gears based off, you know, on the road if we have to go up a hill, we're just cruising depending how if we need more speed or yeah. more power. That's what swapping these gears do and that's what it looks like where if you do drive manual, you're, you know, Putting it back and forth. Almost, almost a lost art. A lot of people not driving manual. Yeah, no, mostly, that, mostly automatic these yeah, days. Yeah. Uh, but very cool to, to know the, the back end of how this all works. Yeah, it's a nice little nice little experiment. It's just, it's gears. That's it's all gears. it is. It's yeah. gears. Science is everywhere. <laughs> um, Want to let folks know, um, you know, memberships to the Science Center, always a good path to go down when visiting because yeah. um, you pay one fee and you get to come as many times as you want in a year and you're yeah. offering a sale right now. Exactly, so we're doing our fall 15, so 15% 15 off. And like you said, the memberships, they kind of just pay for themselves in a couple of visits. You pay once, and then for the next calendar year, you get to come in for free. So you know, you come once a month, just accrue in that value when you get to check out all our cool science offerings and exhibits we normally have. Yeah, over 165 hands-on exhibits. You've got the uh, the digital theater, uh, so many neat things to do, live science, and you've yeah. got the traveling exhibition, things always coming and going. It's always exactly. a new experience when you come visit. Always. So. All right, Jace, thank you so much. Uh, and of course, uh, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.